let's talk about Innovonics. Here's my Innovonics antenna. Comes uh, in a box with some mounting kit of some kind. On the other side, I get an antenna and a manual. Now, let's put that aside. Here's my power supply, that makes sense. And I'm going to need a USB to serial adapter to go on here like so, so that I could use the USB to plug into my Acer, which doesn't have a serial port. But what about this end? What about that? Well, that, as it turns out, has to go in here. It's handy to have a pry tool to get into these guys. Sometimes you just have to find the sweet spot. There it is. And then it just comes right open. There it is. So what happens here is that this guy goes into that. So we'll just hook that up. Perfect. Now we can just close them back up. That's the way it goes. And it's closed back up. So now what do we do? We have to plug this into the wall. So we'll do that. So this guy goes into the wall. And this guy goes into one of these USB ports. Plug it into the bottom one. And then, of course, we have to go to the touch screen to tell Grand Care. We're going to peripherals. Now, here's our Innovonics antenna. Let's see that we put it into the right port. We put it into the red one, so I'll do red. Now we have it green. EN4000 is green. That's all we need to do here. Now, I have got an Innovonix motion sensor, so let's see how this works. Open it up. Got some mounting kit inside. Mounting kit, battery for it. There's our sensor. There's the manual. Now we've got to open up this unit to get inside so that we can mount this battery. There's the battery that comes with it. Here's the battery that we get. That's it. And then snap this battery right in place. Now what you do is you plug this guy into that 
like so. And then this little guy plugs into your motherboard like that. And you can see right away we get a little flashing light to indicate that we've got power. Now I can close this guy back up. And just put the screw back in. And we're good to go. Now here's the thing that I need to look at here. So there's this number right on here. Right here in GC Manage is where we finish this project. Let's, uh, we'll go to the account in question to which we are adding this Innovonix motion sensor. And we open the care menu. And we'll go to activity. And we're going to add a new detector. Here's the Z-Wave things that we've added before. Uh, but we'll add a new detector here. And we have to pick what it is. And this is the EN um, 1261 high traffic motion sensor. And we might want to put a location on it, like maybe it's living room. Living room motion sensor. And we'll say next. Here's where it's important that we know that number that's on the sticker that I showed you. Right on the side of the motion sensor is the number one five one three four seven six two that is all there is to it and now I've added my motion sensor and um, just for grins let's let's add a new rule for it just to see if it's working let's see if our if there's any motion on our motion sensor living room at any time. Then send the message to the screen and the message is motion in living room. I'll finish. Now I've got my motion sensor and it's got a rule and let's go ahead and see what we see. Let's open up the touch screen here for a minute and uh, I'll go trigger the motion sensor. And there's the result of our rule. Message to the screen that says motion in living room just like the rule says to do. And that's it for adding an Innovonix motion sensor.